Tommy Bostedt and Team Sweden's head coach Rickard Grönborg. Questions? Coach, now that you're here, uh, Joe McDonald, ESPN. Uh, coach, now that you guys are here and, and after last night's game and practice, just what do you think you are going into uh, going into this tournament, playing Russia or something? Excellent question. I think um, um, I think we're making steps every day. Uh, obviously, the, the result of the last game wasn't what we were looking for, but at the same time, uh, it's a perfect opportunity for us to maybe calibrate on some more things on uh, up the ice and uh, get ready for for uh, you know the first game in the World Cup. So, for for me right now, it's looking at being in the process of stuff. We got uh, we, like we talked about last night, but we got repetitions on six on five situation. We, we got some adversity going through the team, which. I think the guys uh, realizing, and, and uh, as you can tell, all these exhibition games, they're not one team went through uh, with full points going through the exhibition schedule here. So uh, that kind of tells you how close this this tournament is going to be. And, uh, I think um, you know, obviously, we're one of the teams that want to compete for it and, and go for it all. And, and uh, so I think it was a, you know, a little bit of a lesson last night. But at the same time, we we feel like we have a very strong team, and we're, we're we should be ready to go when we're playing against Russia the first game. Coach, um, with you know everybody will say, well, with your goaltending, you don't have to worry about it. There's no concern with Lundqvist. Is there any concern though with the idea that he's a goalie who's trying to establish his game early on, and he wasn't really given much of a chance to do that last night because of how the team played in front of him, and maybe that can take a little while for him to get his confidence back. Is there any concern with that? If you get what I'm saying? Well, Henrik is such an experienced goalie that. Uh, He's gone through some adversity. I, I know he's going to rise through adversity, and uh, so that's uh, same thing with the team, you know. So I, I think he's been through this before, and uh, he's, he's going to excel when he really needs to. Uh, I'm, I'm me as a coach. I'm looking more how we get in those weird situations. Why are we giving up the Alban rushes? And and um, you know, I'm, I'm more looking at the situational play for our, the whole entire team more than than him. I know he's going to excel when he, when we really need him, and, and that's what makes him a world class goalie. Tommy, so many changes prior to uh, the start of training camp with the injuries and even during camp, we lost a couple guys. The way the roster is now going into the tournament, just how, how pleased are you with the way things are going? Of course, uh, we, 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 didn't, we, didn't, we haven't asked for, for the situation with all these injuries, but at the same time, we, we are happy to have the depth as we had today with the 87 players who played in the National League last season. And uh, if he has to go back like 10 years or something, we didn't have that situation. The problem would have been much, much uh, larger at that time. So we're happy to have a good development system in Sweden today, producing players that can play on the highest level. And I think that the players, uh, the replacements players we, we got in, got into the team, are, are fi filling yeah, filling the holes that, that the ones uh, uh, that left us. Uh, uh, so so. I'm not so worried about about, about uh, the, these new players coming in. The only thing is that they, they get a little bit less time to prepare, a couple of fewer games to play, and it's early in the season. So, so that's one of the problems I think we have right now. But I don't think that problem is as huge. After one period, the first game, I think everyone will be in the tournament and, and also producing. At the Rekat, uh, who is the dangerous player in uh, Team Russia, uh, and uh, uh, what is the dangerous uh, line in the uh, uh, Russian national team? Pretty, pretty broad question because I think every line they have is dangerous line. Uh, I think uh, they're really top heavy. I think Russia's got some tremendous hockey players on top. When they talk about forwards and guys can make plays in all, all four lines, really. Um, so. That's something obviously we have to have in consideration when we get into that game that uh, the rush is going to come at you and, and uh, uh, you know uh, four wise they're uh, I would say one of the top if not the top uh, team in, the, in this tournament and uh, we're fully aware of that it's going to be a great challenge that I'm looking forward to. Coach, what's your uh, expectation for Marcus Kruger for the first game in terms of his availability? My, expect my expectations is going to be ready to go when we drop in the pocket the first game. I think. Uh, He's getting a lot of rep repetitions right now in practice. Uh, I, I, you know, 
know, the, the prognosis is that he's going to be ready to go um, fully when we drop in the puck in the first game. And um, so he, he, uh, uh, he should be ready. And obviously, feeling a very important spot on our team. Uh, he gets the stability in, in, in one of the lines because he's a very, very smart player, especially when it comes to, uh, you know, defensive situations from the defensive faceoffs to, to penalty kills. So he's in a pretty important part of our, our team. Do you anticipate he'll be back with Haglin and Silverberg as that, that line? That's that's uh, that's a probable. Uh, I think they have a good chemistry in that line, so uh, that's a, that's a probable. But uh, we'll we'll address it when we get closer to the game. Coach, uh, over here. So you're right. Yeah. You, you've coached against uh, Russia before, I guess, World Championships. Uh, is there a rivalry there, and how would you describe your relationship with their coach? Uh, Good. I, I got full respect for the Russian team. I got full respect for Russian hockey and, and him as a coach. I think uh, obviously they, they've proven and he's proven a, a being a very, uh, very uh, solid coach and, and, uh, and a victor as such. And so um, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna. I think they've got a great team. It's gonna be a great game. And, and uh, like I said, I have full respect for uh, for the team and him as a coach. Just because you played last night, was there? Did you? Give consideration to taking today off at all. Like, what was the to skate today? You know, take today off, maybe skate tomorrow. Like, what, what, how did you base your schedule? What were you thinking about your schedule? Um, we felt it's going to be a work schedule anyway. Just coming down and, and do media, so we figure out that way we'll go down here and get the get uh, last games um, you know out of leg, out of our legs and, and you can get going into it, and also also get repetitious in the, in the big ring here. Uh, I think that's that's important. Um, since we're starting a day later, I, I think uh, we had uh, had an option to either take this day or tomorrow off. And uh, so uh, right now we feel uh, obviously we want to address some things from last night's game. I think that's that was pretty important. I think it was important for the guys to get out on the ice again and, and uh, start working towards uh, towards the first game. Any further questions? Yeah, Coach, uh, once, twice. Thanks, everybody. Good day. Thanks, I have uh, one question. Could you tell me the story of the story of this photo? Yesterday I asked uh, Alex Narok about it, yeah. and he said it was in DC, Washington. This what? In Washington, DC. Washington, yeah. yeah. Could you tell me the story of this photo? Uh, he was uh, he was watching the practice as well as I was, and I was going to go up and shake his hand, and uh, obviously want to take a selfie when that happens. So, like I said, I mean, I. I respect him as a, as a coach. I respect uh, his team a lot, and uh, I think it was a, a respectful thing from uh, from both sides to uh, to, uh, to obviously uh, to make him answer. You look like uh, friends. <laughs> yes. I got, like I said, I have full respect for for him as a coach. Okay. Uh, well, it depends uh, uh, the game with, uh, between uh, Russia and Sweden. Sweden uh, uh, from rivalry Ovechkin and Backstrom. Um, well, obviously they're uh, they're working well together in Washington, and it's going to be a, um, obviously bragging rights when they get in the locker room uh, when, they, when they get together again in, in Washington. So uh, um, there are obviously different kinds of players. I think obviously ovechkin has got the, you know his his uh, greatness in, in scoring, and I think Bestrom is a, more of a passer. So. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a huge rivalry between those guys, but at the same time, I think both of both Ovechkin and Ovechkin for sure, they're, they're looking more at winning the game and whatever it takes to win that game is, uh, is what he's going to do. So uh, it's a great great rivalry between Sweden and Russia, and it's a great rivalry between those guys. Thank you.